It is Sunday the 14th, I think, of June, and uh, I just want to do a video for myself and for you on uh, some of the challenges that are on the internet. And the first one is, this is the overwintering potato challenge, and that's one seed potato planted in the autumn and left outside all winter. I think that's a Sarpo Mira. Uh, tuber that I planted and uh, to be fair that's looking quite well it has uh, two stems coming off it and uh, they look quite sturdy and there are some signs of flowers just coming there so uh, that's the potato overwinter challenge and uh, it doesn't get a lot of sunshine here as you can see up above there's plenty of uh, shade. I think the sun goes off here about midday, this area of the garden. So that's my overwinter potato challenge. And the sunflower challenge. You can see that I've made a frame there for um, the sunflowers to climb up. Uh, this particular category is the uh, sunflower in a container and they are 30 litre pots and uh, if I get them anywhere near the top of them I'll be quite happy I think they're 12 foot canes and uh, they're looking quite well that one there is King Kong and uh, I've, uh, I don't put the strings on them too high. I like them to, uh, to waft about in the wind a bit. It just makes them a bit of a sturdier stem. And uh, this one that is uh, not in a container, that one there came from the Giant Seed Company. And uh, that one's lagging behind a little bit. And then another one in a container, that is American Giant. coming on quite nicely and then I have another one here which is growing amongst the uh, runner beans and this is uh, one of my own saved seeds from a couple of years ago um, this was a tall sunflower I can't remember the name of it very tall sunflower with a very large head on it and uh, the largest head I gave away to a school so that the children could plant them and uh, I didn't grow it last year so this was I was pleased that this germinated I got a few, uh, three or four of these and uh, that one is growing quite well in amongst the runner beans and I've called that Mr Big because I'm not sure on the variety but uh, that could possibly give me one of the large heads or perhaps one of the tallest but obviously it's not in a container, so it won't be in the tallest category for this year. But that's looking, that's probably the best looking sunflower I've got so far this year. And if I just bring you through the polytunnel, you can see just out here is where I've planted my uh, sunflowers for the sunflower display which is the third category first one being tallest in the container or pot second one being the largest head and the third category the sunflower display i've got my tall ones all around the back and then ones which should be about six foot tall and then some smaller ones 
the dwarf varieties at the front and uh, I have got some more sown uh, dwarf ones which will be interplanted in between the spaces. The ones at the back I shall keep as tall sunflowers and then the ones in the next row in uh, which should be about six foot tall I shall leave those to branch out. Most of them will look well. I have got a couple, that one there and uh, that one there, the same variety. I believe that's a white sunflower, an Italian sunflower and uh, it seems to be struggling a little bit um, compared to some of the others. That one there you can see is a black magic and I have got another couple of black magic or supposed to be black magic but they don't look uh, the same as that one. Now there's another one but the tall ones at the back are all coming on nicely. We have had quite a lot of wind recently this last uh, few days and on the back of what we had the last weekend but uh, they've all been okay and the wind has been coming from the easterly northeasterly direction which is over there which is the worst way it could come for the sunflowers. So those are my entries and an update on my sunflower challenge. And here in the greenhouse, which is mostly uh, got peppers in it. And there are some cucumbers, uh, three tomato plants, Three tomato plants, three, four cucumbers. Um, they're all doing quite well in here. And I also have one aubergine, which is my single seed challenge. And uh, as you can see, it's got a lovely flower on it. It has got a little bit of green fly. I've had quite a lot of green fly this year, um, but it's the only pest that I seem to be struggling with at the moment. But um, the predators will be about now um, and they will start to uh, get control of it all. But as you can see, there's quite a few flowers on this. And if you go just down there, you can see the first fruit, uh, Black Beauty. And I'm surprised that that fruit is there because that flower was the only one out on its own. There wasn't any other flowers and I thought they needed pollinating. Um, and the other flowers were quite a, a, a while behind that one. But somehow it's uh, pollinated and you can see the size of it. It's not a bad size and it, it, it is still growing. So that is my single seed challenge. Aubergine Black Beauty. Many thanks for watching and your comments are always appreciated. Um, if you like what you see, please consider subscribing and hit the bell and you'll get an update of every time I put a video up of what's going on. Take good care everybody. Thank you. Bye bye.